Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this Q&A session. Kind reminder that we have sent the information by email. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, you can either type them in the Q&A uh, section uh, that you can find on your screen, or you can send them through the survey that was sent on Friday. Uh, please, um, I I'm here with Ms. Kitty. Ms. Kathleen uh, and uh, our lovely IT uh, people, Yasar and Tare. Uh, they will be helping us uh, make sure that we are receiving your messages, they're published, and you get your answers. Ms. Kathleen is here to answer any questions pertaining to the DP. Uh, I'll, um, I'm, I'm here waiting for questions. I don't have uh, uh, a presentation or uh, anything else to share. Uh, I can discuss the different, uh, the few questions that I receive through the form if we don't get any questions right away. Yes, sir, are we receiving questions? Uh, until now, we don't have any questions. Okay. Um, so, let me just go over the questions that we received. Uh, we have received questions about uh, the timing, uh, the hours of uh, virtual school, and I think some parents have concerns that these are long hours to be facing a screen. Uh, we understand that uh, it's a long day, but uh, we have uh, a program to follow. We have a curriculum and we need to satisfy all the needs of IB, our local curricula, and our, the requirements of the different subjects. According to the communication that was sent earlier, we will be having one day of asynchronous learning a week for MYP classes. DP classes would be a bit different. Ms. Kathleen can share information about this. For um, during the day, for all the students, we will have two breaks, a morning break of 15 minutes and an afternoon break of 30 minutes. And you will have, the students will have five minutes breaks between classes. On top of this, uh, the structure of the subjects themselves will take in, into consideration the, uh, the fact that we are going fully virtual. So the teachers will plan in a way that students would have some asynchronous activities within the few hours that they are with them or within the hour itself. This would depend on the subject, on the teacher and on the department. So uh, we, they, they will receive all of this information ahead of time. I had questions about homework and definitely we are working on lessening, especially for students in grades six to eight, because we understand that they are already spending long hours facing a screen. So we would make sure that the homework is uh, reasonable and uh, does not really jeopardize uh, their well-being. We want them to learn, but we also want them uh, to try to get some kind of uh, a well-rounded uh, life. Uh, which we know is very, very difficult under these uh, circumstances. Uh, I had questions about orientation plans, and uh, usually we have orientations going throughout September, usually every Wednesday this year, because we're going fully virtual, we will be having virtual orientations and you will receive information about the uh, day and the time. Uh, we will try to do this early in September to help everyone understand uh, the uh, model and the virtual classes and get the chance to uh, ask questions to the experts, to the coordinators, to the subject leaders, to the teachers. Uh, we will have special orientation for new parents uh, so that they uh, get to meet our uh, staff uh, and uh, also get uh, more information about the program. Uh, the other question that I uh, received was about uh, confirmation for uh, the uh, model that will be ad adopted from September all the way through to December. It seems some parents are out of the country and they are planning to uh, get their kids to attend virtually 
for December. Uh, we cannot give confirmation as to how and when this model will change. So far, we have decided that we are starting virtually, and this would be uh, throughout the months of the month of September. However, we uh, cannot confirm how October would look like uh, that early, especially that the Ministry of Education uh, seems to be leaning towards um, pushing the start of the school year uh, till October, and they have their own program to follow. They have their own concerns. Uh, we as an IB school following uh, both the MYP program and the DP program, we need to plan for our students to finish the curriculum uh, because we do not have any uh, confirmation from uh, IB uh, to any changes to the curricula. So, so far, please plan for September and uh, we will make sure that you receive any communication about a change of plans as soon as this becomes clear for us. Uh, we had a few questions for uh, DP. Uh, Ms. Kathleen, do you want to say anything about books and the uh, probability of any face-to-face -face activities? Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I just just to let you know, um, as you per you aware, the IB did cancel the exams for May 2020. At present, the exams for May 2021 will go ahead as planned. The IB have been sending us uh, information about adaptations to the exams, um, but so far the curriculum stands as it is. So we have to work on the assumption that we have to cover all the curriculum just as normal. Uh, the same applies to the Lebanese BAC exams. We don't know, I don't think anyone knows yet how th this is going to work out for the Lebanese students. So we have to assume that all of our students in grade 12 will be sitting for official exams in May and June of next year. Uh, we're going to be going online, as uh, Ms. Myrna said, for the month of September, perhaps longer, we don't know. And as Ms. Myrna said, she let us know when the school has made this decision. Uh, for the grade 12 students, they should have their books already because we don't change the books, we don't add anything. And we are using Cognity as the basic textbook for many of our subjects in the DP. Cognity is online. Um, just a point of interest, I've been checking uh, the grade 12 students who has been accessing Cognity and it's clear that several students have not ac accessed it at all over the summer, despite the fact that they had summer work to do. The grade 11 students have their Cognity um, accounts already. There will need to be some adjustments as their subjects change, but that will be done as we go forward into September. Um, they will have to come in to collect some books, especially the English uh, novels and texts, and uh, some of the language material because language is not um, covered in Cognity. Um, so, as Ms. Myrna said, we'll be arranging times for students to come in in small groups to collect the textbooks that they need. That will be um, communicated through Ms. Myrna and myself when we have decided on how this is going to be done. Um, students, the IB have given us some suggestions about how we can deal with um, practical work, for example, when we can't be in class and the science teachers are working on ways in which to um, not to have to have to have the students coming in to do um, practical work. The same applies for art. Um, the students need to work independently on their artworks and whether they're in school or whether they're not in school, they still need to meet the same requirements. So it's really important that the art students work independently without waiting to be in class with their teacher. I think that's the main thing. Oh, CAS as well, CAS. There are ways that students can do CAS without having to go out into the community. The, Ms. Jennifer has been communicating with the teacher, with the students, giving them information and suggestions about how they can work and fulfill their CAS requirements. So there are ways around this. Uh, the important thing is to keep communicating, keep checking emails. If you have any specific questions, don't hesitate and we'll do our best to get back to you within 24, 48 hours. Communication is vital. Thank you. Okay, Kathleen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ms. Kitty, 
We still do not have any questions. Wait. Would you like to say something? We can't hear you, Miss Kitty. Can you unmute yourself, please? Yeah, yeah. Do we have an audience besides besides our, our yes. colleagues? Yeah. We do have. OK, good. I, I welcome everybody that uh, is outside of our inner circle. And I concur with uh, both Miss uh, Kathleen and Miss uh, Birna that, um, first of all, for DP, I know it's a concern. Uh, we've had some tragic events this summer, but it's still uh, grade 12 students know what they should be doing. And I would like to encourage any parent of any grade 12 uh, student, if they are having difficulties, they don't have internet, they don't have electricity, they don't have these things needed to participate and be uh, ready to have a successful grade 12 year, they need to inform the school immediately. Uh, we understand that, that some areas in, in downtown uh, don't have electricity or maybe internet. We can help arrange something, but people need to speak up. Uh, as far as starting school person to person, we have we don't have a, a crystal ball. We don't know any more than parents, but we are moving forward because also we don't want to wait for the ministry. We have an international program that we need to follow and we have been working all summer, all of us to be ready. And interestingly enough, we do have parents from different parts uh in the united states and in europe that want their students to be part of this because we've done such a, a great job last year but i'm sure that the uh as miss kathleen said the ib the dp is not going to be so generous the coming year uh that they will have the exams and i'm sure the government will also so we really need to get back to a kind of normal focus about these uh, exams. And that's all really I have to say. I'm looking forward to meeting everybody again, whether it's virtual. I hope face to face someday, but I don't think the, the time is, is, is yet. Your teachers have worked hard this summer. The program coordinator, Miss Kathleen, uh, Miss Rita, Miss Mirna, our, our tech department, everybody has worked so hard to put this together. We still have a virtual program that seems to be the envy uh, in Lebanon and even much far more comprehensive and well organized than many parts and many countries around the world. So I thank all of all of you for for your hard work. And uh, but please, parents, if you're having trouble at home, your student check on your student if they are unable to log. Please, we need to know immediately. We can't use it as an excuse. All right, we will somehow fix it, but we need to know. All right, that's it, Miss Mirna, on my part. Thank you, Mrs. Kitty. Thank you all. I'm receiving a few questions and trying to uh, answer as soon as possible. Yes, Mrs. Kanj, we start at 8.30 every day till 3.30, except for Wednesday, when the students finish their classes uh, at uh, earlier, like last year. Uh, and uh, we will have one asynchronous day every week for MYP students. For DP students, they would have uh, catch-up days uh, scheduled by Mrs. Kathleen, and she will let you know ahead of time. Uh, Mrs. Nora, uh, this is not the group uh, that you should join. If you have questions about KG2, please join the other uh, meeting with the PYP team. Um, Rawan, uh, sorry, uh, Yasar, can you please send Mrs. Uh, Nora the link to the other uh, uh, sure. meeting if possible? Thank you. Uh, we had a question about sections. Uh, usually students are um, put in the same section unless there's a change of program. So they move from Lebanese to NYP, for example. There's a change of subject choices and uh, the students need to be in a specific section for that or they had struggled with behavior issues the, the year before and we're trying to keep them away 
from each other. You will receive the allocation of sections at the beginning of the year uh, virtually uh, and uh, as we do every single year. Any other questions? So please write your questions in the Q&A section under the question mark. Reminder that Mrs. Kathleen, our DP coordinator, Mrs. Rita, our acting MYP coordinator are also here and ready to answer questions and to support you uh, parents and your students. So just a kind reminder, uh, we start September 2nd virtually with classes starting at 8.30 a.m., 30.30 p.m. every single day except Wednesday. We will have one asynchronous day a week for all the MYP students. You will receive information ahead of time as to what day would be asynchronous during the week. Uh, we also will have orientation happening for parents and for students during the month of September. Um, we will, we, our plans are to go, go virtual throughout September. Uh, and uh, we would let you know about uh, any developments, any change of plans, any change of models whenever we have confirmation. We will be here for 10 more minutes. Okay, what to expect on the first day? When will the schedule be sent books? Uh, hello, I'm not sure who this is. Uh, probably a new parent. The first day is usually an orientation day for the students where they have a number of activities. They meet their teachers, they meet the uh, people they're going to deal with throughout the year, such as the academic advisor, the coordinator, uh, the um, the counselor, etc. Uh, for now, uh, the orientation is going to be virtual. Uh, most of our books are digital books. Any books, any uh, stationery that you need to collect from school, uh, you would be asked to come and pick it up on. Uh, specific days and uh, making sure that we uh, respect uh, any safety guidelines uh, related to the COVID-19 outbreak. So uh, we would give you either a ticket so that you come at a specific time or we will limit the number of students and staff members on campus. Will we be using the same platforms for assessments online? Hi, Mrs. Fayyad. Uh, we will be using Assess Prep and other platforms. The format of the assessment might change altogether to accommodate for this environment. We are trying to make sure that these assessments can maintain the integrity uh, of uh, our results. And this is why we're going a bit uh, creative with this. So students are having uh, more projects, they're having interviews, they're having uh, different types of uh, assessments and not only the uh, traditional ones. Uh, another question about books. Most of our books are digital books. If there are any books that you need to pick from school, we will send you information as to when you can come to pick any packages for your students. You definitely would need to come to uh, pick the uh, stationery and any art material if you, your student uh, is uh, taking visual arts as a subject. Uh, 
Hi, Ms. Rima. Yes, grade six students would have an orientation uh, on the first day of school and they will be taught how to move to uh, from one class to another. Uh, they are all being added to different classes. Uh, they would receive some kind of uh, training on how to do this uh, virtually. Uh, we understand that uh, they are new to the whole uh, campus, uh, whether the virtual one or the real one. We understand that it's a new program uh, and we will work with them, with the team, to make sure that they are ready for this challenge. On the 2nd of September, Ms. Dina, we start school. So the first day of the academic year for MYP and DP students is September 2nd. You would know the teachers, Mrs. Skench, on the first day of school. Orientation for orientation plan, orientation goes throughout September. The first day, September 2nd, is orientation for all the students. They have to be online from 8.30 a.m. Any more questions? Whatever comes to mind, we're here to help. Uh, no, I don't have the briefs for visual arts, music and media. These are available on our website under curriculum. Uh, so um, I'm going to type here the uh, website uh, address. Please do visit the website and go to MYP where you have the curricular material. If you have more specific questions, please send them through info and they will be sent to the teacher's uh, emails. Uh, uh, of course, it's uh, it's a different environment and uh, we know that it's more challenging to get to know the students online. Uh, we've had an excellent experience last spring with the virtual school, uh, but uh, this happened only after teachers had met their students. Uh, we cannot um, jeopardize the safety of anyone, not our students, not our teachers. Uh, we are planning to bring small groups in as frequently as possible uh, to at different times to make sure they get to know each other, they get to know their teachers, but this needs to be staggered, this needs to be organized in a way that we respect all the safety rules. Uh, but uh, otherwise, we understand it's challenging uh, and we, we will keep trying together to make this happen and to make it a, a successful experience, uh, a learning experience for our students. Thank you, Mrs. Kanj. We miss you. We miss you. We miss uh, the kids. We miss we miss your faces. I'm sure you, you all understand how frustrating it is to be speaking to a screen the whole time. Uh, but uh, we just want to make sure that learning is happening, learning is continuing, and our kids and our staff are safe. Uh, a special orientation is planned for grade six. Students in grade six, starting grade six, would need to uh, follow either a full MYP program or a full Lebanese program according to whether they have been exempt or not. The Lebanese students who do not have an exemption do take MYP classes, but they take Arabic as language and literature. They take INS in Arabic as per my email, so they take Tarikh, Geografia, Tarbiya. 
they do not take a foreign language. Everything else they do like the MYP students. Yes, it is a tough experience for students, for parents, and also for us as a school. Few more minutes to see if anybody else has uh, a question. Um, Mona, Mona, Miss Kathleen, I'm I'm reading, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm I, 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 I'm just dying to say it because we've got the 100 percent pass now. Mabruk, thank you, Miss Kathleen. Okay. I'm so, checking with them because all of the grades might have been changed. OK, great, great news. So Miss Kathleen wants to share that uh, all our DP students got their uh, their DP, uh, their diploma and uh, we have a 100 percent success rate. Personal project orientation would also start the first week of September. Uh, grade 10 students have started the personal project last year. Actually, they started in April with Ms. Dala, uh, and uh, most of them uh, already have their uh, subjects decided. Uh, another uh, good news to share is that uh, all our students who did the personal project uh, last year achieve passing grades. We have two sevens and our average is way above word average. We ended up with an average of 4.9. 4 so uh, thank you for all our supervisors and for Ms. Dala. Ms. Rania, regarding science material, regarding uh, IAs, regarding DP, as we said, we are trying to uh, get small groups in, but we cannot confirm yet. Mrs. Kathleen will get back to the students uh, with more information as soon as possible. Mrs. Al Amud, if uh, a student gets the exemption, uh, they need to sit for a diagnostic test and we would decide on what Arabic rev level they take. Um, Mrs. Rima, what, uh, what Arabic assessment do you mean the diagnostic? All the students will take diagnostics in Arabic. I, I also want to remind you that we have another session, Q&A session, this evening at 5. Uh, so if you have more questions, please join us. And uh, if you can spread the word for others to join as well, uh, this is a great opportunity for uh, interacting and I'm sure uh, having a group here and listening to each other's questions uh, would help you figure things out easily. Uh, we have um, our coordinators with us too who can support us. Uh, so, um, yes, if we do not have the exemption paper from the Ministry of Education, even if the child has another passport, they will go through, the, they have to go into the Lebanese uh, program, uh, meaning that they will take Arabic language and literature. If you have questions about exemption, please do email info. Our uh, people, Ms. Basma, uh, Ms. Lamis from the registrar, Ms. Rana Farouk, they can help you uh, with the uh, with the exemption, so what to do, where to go, etc. Any more questions?
OK, so if we don't have um, any more new questions. Uh, someone is asking me to introduce myself. Uh, maybe you, you joined the, the, uh, later. Uh, my name is Mirna Raslan. I am the principal for the middle and secondary school. Uh, and uh, I have sent the, um, the information about this session and about uh, the different models on Friday. Uh, you also have a recording of the session that we ran on Friday sent to you by the head of school. Uh, concerning WhatsApp groups, these are not supported by the school. However, uh, students have their own groups as well as uh, sometimes some, some teachers join, but this is not a, a school uh, policy. This is done on the side. Uh, our counselor though, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Maya Sasso, uh, is here to support new students and to help them uh, to uh, become, um, just to, to, to make friends in this uh, virtual environment uh, and to integrate as much as possible into the community. Uh, I don't think it's too late for the exemption now, but there is a set of paper that is needed and this is why, uh, please, uh, I don't know the, the case, please do email us at info. I think Mr. Tar has um, entered the, um, has sent the email address here, info at wellspring.edu.lb. Do send an email with uh, your case uh, and uh, the uh, ladies from the registrar and the admissions uh, would uh, help you figure out whether this is possible right now or not. Most welcome. So thank you everyone for joining. Uh, again, if you have more questions, either email us or join us again at five uh, for another Q&A session. Uh, thank you, Ms. Kathleen, Ms. Rita for being here. Thank you, Yasar and Tare for your support. Uh, and again, uh, con congratulations, Ms. Kathleen, on the big news. Uh, so uh, I will see everyone again at five today, uh, and I'll be waiting for uh, your emails and your questions. I know it is a very challenging situation. Uh, I know that we are all struggling to accept this new reality, but I assure you we have plenty of success stories. We have uh, we've had an excellent experience last year and we are sure we know that this is going to work and uh, our students uh, will have the best experience that is possible in such an environment. Have a great day everyone and uh, see you soon. Thank you, Ms. Yassar. I think we can stop now.